Hello, I'm John Jones of Philip Morrison Sun. I'm here in some fantastic Herefordshire shooting countryside to talk to you about getting the fit of your shooting jacket correct. First thing when you're choosing a new shooting jacket is do not worry about what it looks like. It's not for the catwalk, it's not a fashion show. It's about getting the fit so that it suits you and allows you to shoot without any restrictions. So the most important thing about the fit of your shooting jacket is you've got freedom of movement in it. So thing to do when you're trying it on wear exactly what you would wear normally for shooting so I'm wearing the maximum number of layers I would ever wear here base layer shirt jumper and a vest and then zip the jacket all the way up so that it's as restrictive as it could be effectively and then try moving so you want to be able to swing the gun right up somewhere high and not feel any pulling any restriction anything that stops you moving freely the places to look for is it catching under the arms here in particular is it catching through the back of the shoulders is it pulling lower down as you reach up you should have absolute smooth movement without it catching at any point next thing to check in a very similar vein is the sleeves so generally shoot check sleeves have some sort of adjustment on them this Harkila Pro Hunter and Jaw that I'm wearing has a velcro sleeve on it and when you reach up, does it smoothly go up, stay in place, doesn't pull down, so you've got a cold patch there where the rain's getting in, and it doesn't restrict your movement at all. It's just comfortable however far up you reach. Important to check the length of your jacket. I'm six foot one, and this jacket's coming mid thigh on me, which is where you want it down to as probably a minimum, so that first of all, when you're reaching up, it doesn't pull up, leaving you cold, wet patches. And secondly, on a wet day, whether you've got leggings treggings whatever it may be on your lower half is it long enough that the water is going to run down onto those and you don't get a bit of a gap in between often overlooked feature when trying a jacket on is the hood make sure that you do check that it is large enough for you that it doesn't restrict over the back of the head it's not pulling it's not stopping you from moving your head freely as you swing the gun and the final fit adjustment feature that's worth checking is draw cords. So in this Hakila jacket, I've got two draw cords, one in the middle here, which particularly if you are tall or thinner build like I am, it's really worth having that so that you can bring the adjustment in. It helps retain heat and also means that you haven't got excess fabric so that when you're bringing the gun up, you're not going to catch it. I've also got a second draw cord on the very base of this jacket. What that draw cord does is really allow you to wrap it straight in, which in terms of heat retention, makes a massive difference to keeping you warm. So there you have a very quick guide to important things to look for when checking the fit of your new shooting jacket. If you'd like more information, check out our dedicated blog on the subject or our website or contact our customer service team who'll be only too happy to help you.